Can you tell what kind of airplane this is from the shadow? Or from this cockpit? Or from this wingtip? Well, we're going to have fun on Celebrating Aviation with Mike Machat by request. Now, this all started when during a recent video, I showed this photo and asked the viewers if they could identify the airplane. And many viewers did get this right. It's a Douglas TA-4J Skyhawk. Well, this cockpit belongs to a Lockheed F-104 Starfighter. The Shadow is another great Lockheed airplane. It's not a P-3 Orion. It's a passenger Lockheed Electra. And this tip tank, of course, is a Lockheed T-33 Shooting Star or T-Bird. So what I thought we'd do is show you parts and pieces of airplanes, and we're going to call it the Name the Plane 2023. I'm not going to call this a contest. I don't want you to stress. If you don't know what it is, don't worry about it. I'm hoping that you just enjoy the photos that I'm going to share with you in this episode because they are from my 40-year career in American aerospace as an aviation artist, historian, and author. I have flown on assignment with the U.S. Air Force Art Program, the NASA Documentary Art Program, the Air Force Test Pilot School, and on assignment with the Navy. And in total, I have flown in uh, just under 250 different types of aircraft during my 40-year uh, career. And so I'm going to share these photos with you, see if you can identify these airplanes. Are you ready? All right, let's take off. And here we go. Let's start with cockpits. Can you tell what this one is? I'll give you a hint. You see four sets of engine gauges. That's half the number of engines on this airplane. Hmm. You guessed it, Boeing B-52 H model. Okay, how about this cockpit? We're coming in for a landing at the Fentress uh, Field Landing Carrier Practice. And uh, if you are a naval aviator, you definitely know where this is. It's near Oceana, Virginia. Can you name the airplane? It's a Grumman F-14B upgrade Tomcat. Okay, this cockpit. Take a look. I'll give you a hint. Check outside the windshield. See some unusual structure. Uh, don't have it yet? Here's another hint. We're flying at Mach 2.04 at 57,800 feet. It is the Concorde, and it is this airplane, Fox Alpha. Now, this would be a tough one if you don't fly sailplanes. In fact, even if you did, uh, the panels are very similar in most of these high-performance sailplanes, but I wanted to share this photo because it's on tow. This is out of Tehachapi, California. And uh, here's a bonus uh, photo. This is uh, the Sierra Wave. I've covered this in another video. And uh, this photo was taken right around 40,000 feet. Uh, it may surprise you that uh, the sailplane altitude record in the U.S., which still stands to this day, is 49,009 feet, set in 1986. But the sailplane in that towplane photo is a DG-1000. Okay, speaking of high altitude, here we are uh, just nudging 50,000 feet. In this airplane, which is turning into an intercept profile and is accelerating to Mach 1.45. And this airplane is a McDonnell Douglas F-15. Uh, this airplane is flying over Lake Tahoe. It can land in the water or on a runway. What do you think? Republic CB. Okay, low and fast. We're doing 500 knots at 200 feet. I'm sitting in the left seat, the aircraft commander's seat of this airplane during a functional check flight out of Palmdale, California. And it is the Rockwell B-1B Lancer. Title of this photo, it followed me home. Can I keep it? We're in a helicopter over Washington, D.C. This is an interesting story. I'll take a moment here. Um, I had an assignment for Airbus to photograph Washington National Airport, which we did in the first oh, 30 or 45 seconds of the uh, after taking off from there. And then as we were trying to return 
uh, at that time, uh, President, this was 1994, President Clinton uh, was uh, leaving the White House in Marine One for Andrews Air Force Base, and all the airspace over the city was closed uh, to get back to National Airport. So we had to go all the way around, and this is our uh, detour. Uh, but uh, we paid for an hour in the helicopter, so it wasn't a problem. And if you can guess, take a look at the uh, control yoke. That's kind of a giveaway. It's a Robinson R-22 Beta. Okay, for my international uh, subscribers who always talk about uh, how the channel is uh, focused on U.S. aircraft, here's one for you. This is a, uh, a foreign airliner uh, flown by a foreign airline. And take a good look at the windshield, side windows. It's an ancestor to today's Airbus. It is the Caravelle. This is a Super 10 powered by Pratt & Whitney uh, turbofan engines, flown by Finnair. This photo was taken in 1984. Uh, here we are in the break for landing, Hill Air Force Base. What do you think? Ah, you guessed it, F-16. Okay, let's look, uh, let's look at some engines. Take a look at uh, these and... Uh, Let's start with this one, Rolls-Royce. Can you tell what this airplane is? TWA, Boeing 757-200. Okay, this is not my photo. This is from uh, the Museum of Flying Archive, but it was just too good to pass up. And yes, the hint is in the upper left-hand corner, but it's a just a stunning historic shot from an original 35-millimeter Kodachrome slide taking in, taken in 1945. And this is the Boeing B-29. It is this airplane right here. Okay. Uh, Mack Charter Flight, 1967. Uh, Yakota Air Base to uh, uh, San Francisco. Travis. And uh, we're getting ready to stop in Anchorage, Alaska. And this would be a McDonnell Douglas DC-863 convertible freighter used for the MAC charters during the uh, war in Southeast Asia. Okay, we're circling over Catalina Island, simulated air rescue mission, and this is a Lockheed HC-130H Hercules out of March Air Force Base. Uh, sorry for the grainy shot here. It was uh, taken with a Kodak Instamatic years and years ago, but... Uh, it's a very historic airplane, still used in passenger service. Uh, this is Japan in 1966. And uh, this is an Air America Douglas DC-4, full passenger interior. Uh, this is kind of a, an easy one if you've ever flown on the uh, first generation of jumbo jets. The first four-engine jumbo jet was the Boeing 747-100. Seen here at JFK. Historic airplane. I understand the very last 747 is just coming off the production line uh, at Boeing's uh, Everett plant. It's a freighter, 747-8F. Long, successful run. Great airplane. Okay, we got a turboprop. It's a Rolls-Royce Dart. This is a tough one because many of the uh, twin and four-engine turboprop airliners were powered by this. And uh, we are looking at the engine of a NAMC YS-11. Great little airplane. And finally, for the engines, again, another international favorite. This is taken over the port of Long Beach during a uh, promotional flight for this airplane. Take a look at the uh, corrugated aluminum. It's obviously historic. A Junkers JU-52. And finally, let's look at some shadows. The Shadow Nose. You want to try this one? This is tough because it's a rear-engine T-tail aircraft, and many of the RJ regional jets today, Embraer, Bombardier, uh, are in this configuration. But this particular airplane is the granddaddy of them all, the Douglas, or I should say McDonnell Douglas, DC-9 Super 80, referred to as the Mad Dog for MD-80, which the designation changed to in 1980. How about this shadow? Be careful because the tail can be tricky. 
We know it's kind of looking like a beach bonanza, but it's a T-34. How about this one coming into Edwards Air Force Base? The airplane is NASA 852 and F-18B. The backbone of the light utility helicopter fleet anywhere around the world today, great machine. The Eurocopter AS-350 A-Star. Tip tanks, T-Tail, Mach 2, F-104. And... We saw another photo from the same airplane. This is looking down at the ground at about that same time. B-1. Well, just in case you were taking the quiz and uh, we need a tiebreaker, uh, how about this? It's not a nose wheel. It was taken from a passenger window. It's a foreign built airplane. Poker F-27. So there you have it, a look from the inside at a whole bunch of different airplanes. I hope you enjoyed it. It was fun sharing these photos. It's been a great, uh, great ride looking back at 40 years in this business, and uh, we'll keep them coming. I want to say thanks to the uh, great folks and institutions that allow these uh, videos to be possible. And I want to thank you for celebrating aviation with Mike Machat. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We have lots more uh, scheduled for the rest of the year. And so if you haven't subscribed, we'd love to have you on board. Please uh, hit the like button on the way out. It does help us with YouTube. And until next time, take care.